Chad Brenson here for Palo Alto Networks, and I'm here with John Kindervog from Forrester and Danelle Al from Palo Alto Networks. Good to see you both. We're talking zero trust. John, you've um, obliged us many a time with a discussion of, of the zero trust framework for solving security challenges. What, what are you hearing from customers? What are you hearing from security buyers that's telling you this is the right model? This is what we should be pursuing? You know, we live in a world with uh, a lot of threats that the, the current model doesn't fit and doesn't work. So my customers who are deploying zero trust networks are responding that, that it's working, that it's easy to use, that there's cost savings around it. And so we're very, very positive about the feedback that we're getting about, about the zero trust uh, movement. So to them, is it principally an ROI story, would you say? I think it's an ROI story and it's a strategic story. Zero trust is something that you can talk about to your CEO or your board members and they'll get that you're on the cutting edge of security, but you can also implement it. It's real world. It's being deployed today. People are doing it and it's, by all indications, it's working extremely well. Danelle, the Palo Alto Network's approach to enterprise security aligns to the zero trust model as John described. Can you explain how? Yes, very much so. We've been working with John um, over the last couple of years, and one of the reasons why is his approach of um, don't trust, always verify, resonates with us. Why assume a particular traffic is a specific application based on its ports and protocol? We're going to inspect all traffic across all ports, all protocols, regardless of encryption or evasive tactic, um, tie it to the right users, protect against known and unknown threats, all concepts that John advocates. Um, what we do offer also for the customers is a very progressive approach to zero trust, where you can insert it in the network at virtual wire mode, um, so it doesn't impact the routing and switching infrastructure, and then progressively enable the controls for specific users and the specific applications in that segment of the network. And we're here at uh, RSA Conference 2014. Wanted to ask both of you a little bit about uh, the conversations you're having. John, what are you hearing? What's the buzz out there? People are worried about these advanced threats, so that's not a new story. Uh, but they're, they're also worried about the insider threat. The Edward Snowden uh, debacle has gotten the attention of the enterprise, and also people are worried about cloud security and how they're going to deploy their data into a cloud in a secure manner. Plus, you add on mobility and all those other things that are destroying the perimeter. That's why this is a perfect time to look at zero trust. Danelle, uh, similar conversations, I imagine? Similar, yeah. Also, um, I think we're looking at how um, network security and endpoint security can be a lot more complementary in figuring out how to stop uh, uh, parts of the attack lifecycle. Um, in addition to that, just um, better collaboration among the security community. So together, we're sharing information that we can all deal jointly um, uh, with uh, against the, the, these bad guys that are out there. Okay, John Donnell, thank you very much. We'll see you soon.